How do you make the case that it's important to other parts of, of the economy? You can't get away from it. If you don't have a healthy planet, you're not going to have healthy people. Crops are much more likely to fail as well. So the best way to make the food system resilient in the face of all this crazy weather is to make sure that we don't need these chemicals that kill the soil, because we're going to need natural fertility to survive the weather events. One action would you recommend to our listeners um, that would shake up their perspective on climate and food? Uh, be a three-year-old. Ask why. Dare to think different. You know, I think that that's one of the greatest tools that we can do is harness our own frustration because it can lead to solutions to make things better. Hello, and welcome to another conversation on climate. This episode is brought to you by United Renewables in association with the London Business School. Today, we deep dive into a subject that's important to us all, agriculture and the systems that produce the food that we eat. The food system and climate are intimately connected. It's a subject that makes sense to us all, as everyone thinks about what they eat. And yet the links between the personal and the systemic are not always obvious. To explore this topic, we're speaking to Kelly Elizabeth Price, a biologist from Texas who speaks fluent Japanese and Chinese, the holder of an MBA from London Business School, and a career pharma consultant who dropped it all for regenerative agricultural entrepreneurship. Kelly is a charismatic, informed, and dynamic speaker, making this a conversation that you won't want to miss. In the meantime, please subscribe on your app of choice to keep up with our new releases. I do hope that you enjoy listening to them as much as I enjoyed making them.